As a first question, I'd like to ask you that you mentioned that there were about 55 patterns for business model and the 90% were already invented. So I um, would like to ask you if you think there's one in particular that is more common. So is there a business model or are those 55 patterns more or less common? Do they differ by sector, by innovative? Well, the answer is very sector specific. Uh, there is not the one successful business model. It depends very much. There are quite popular ones like paper use. And this is also related to uh, new technology trends. So if the Internet of Things is becoming more popular, that means products are getting more intelligent, sensor the information and enable actually for example to sensor the time you use the product and uh, transport that and communicate it to some central that enable business models like uh, paper use or software as a service if you think of cloud computing so there are a few which are more fashionable right now but there is not the one business model which is more popular than other okay thanks a lot for your answer also you talk about the elements of creativity and you said that in your presentation we can influence them. I would like to ask you, how can we actually influence creativity? Can you give me an example? Well, the biggest influence is actually leadership. So if we really lead in a transformational way, which means inspire people, intellectually stimulate them, address them individually as an individual person, and also be a role model as a leader, uh, we go quite a lot um, towards uh, um, uh, inspiring creativity from a leadership uh, transparent in contradiction to the more popular um, transactional sugar bread and uh, uh, the whip uh, um, uh, kind of leadership. Um, on the other side, it uh, has a lot to do with creating a failure tolerant culture, giving a second chance if something is not working well. Um, diversity. So there's a lot. There are a lot of setups where you can create actually in a culture which um, stimulates creativity in organizations. So that's why in a Google or in a 3M environment, um, um, continuously and repeatedly innovation happens. Thank you. And uh, concerning one of the elements of creativity that you mentioned, you talk about experience. But at the same time, you talk about the need to unlearn. So if we need to ha do we need to have experience and then uh, learn everything that experience has given us? So how do you combine both things? This is a tension. There's not a simple answer for that. On the one hand, uh, if you know nothing about the industry you want to re revolutionize, you typically fail. So the, uh, you need a lot of insight. Typically, it's a mix between the industry you're inside, the industry where you take a lot of other things, if you have that in, uh, uh, industrial experience, and, uh, and if you take that together and then try to release all your knowledge and try to get on the right level of abstract abstraction. So the granularity level is quite important. So having a lot of knowledge helps but then also it helps if you release that knowledge and try to combine, combine and learn with others. Typically the problem is um, if you're too long together in a consistent team, in a stable team and uh, in a silo environment, then actually this uh, diversity does not happen and uh, this, uh, you, you get stuck with your today's experience. That's what we call the dominant logic. Interesting combination. and. Um uh, just to finish, uh, everyone talked recently about the, that we are living in such a dynamic environment that things are changing quicker than they've ever changed and that the most important um, skill for companies will be adapting to changes. However, considering that, that, how can you say that a company could rely in a business model? What happens when things change? Is there one business model? or? or another business model is the first one fail? And typically companies have to adapt. The environment is changing. A lot is triggered by globalization, um, by changes in consumer behaviors, but also really a lot by technology, especially uh, in information technology. And this enables just new value chains 
and uh, new opportunities for companies. So if we are not trying to change, another might change. And a lot of examples fail like uh, IG, Nokia or Kodak. They just fail because they haven't learned to adapt also their business model due to um, disruptive um, um, a change in the environment. So we need to learn and the most important skill what we have is actually the ability to unlearn and try to learn new things. And evolution has taught us also in the, in the, in the, uh, with animals that those who are most adaptive actually survive, not the one which are the best or the strongest. I think of Tyrannosaurus Rex right now, the favorite of my, uh, of my boy. Yeah, Charles Darwin, that's a wise, wise man. And my very last question as an expert in this area would be about the future. How do you see the future of business models in the current envir changing environment? The very first trend, this is what we observe already today. Um, we see a huge um, attention and a huge attraction to the topic of business modeling. Since five years we work on that topic. The last one and a half year we got overrolled with, you know, with uh, requests to cooperate and to work with, together with the industry. So I think the attention really grew. Second trend, um, uh, it will go away from the strategic staff environment down to the business unit level, to the divisional level and even to the product development. So what I would forecast is a next wave of a concurrent engineering wave, of a simultaneous engineering wave, where you design the business model on the one hand side and at the other hand side um, already develop the product because the product and the technology which is protected by IP enable and enforce sustainable in sustainable terms a business model. So if you have a business model innovation you need to create value and to capture value. And capturing value in a sustainable way you need technology. So it still goes back to the technology and to the product level. And that's what we will observe the next five years.